Oh, and there's one of my little favorites. Oh, apparently people are worried we're going to break the catch tree. The drive is not over yet. Not over yet. But in the meantime, while I try to think of another plan, we've got some one of my favorite little creatures, also a carnival, the smallest mammalian carnival in Africa. Let's see if we can talk them out of their holes quickly. Here we go. Little dwarf monkeys. Scary. So they're going to be heading into these burrows now. This is probably where they're going to be spending the night. Oh, and I think quite interestingly, if we've got some birders watching, if we go off to the left of the little mongies, we have a lapwing I don't think I've showed you before. Oh. So we've seen the crown quite often, but we haven't seen these, well not with me yet, it's a lesser black winged lapwing. I step out the door, hyena knows that uh, it's beyond intimidating me. I've, we've been through, we've been through the stare down contest, and I've never had to, sh I've never had to show any aggression. All I, uh, I do is I, I stand up to it, and they recognise women, they recognise children, baboon do as well. Any animal I think recognises the differences between the male and the female of the species and the juveniles of the species. It's, it's, a, it's a universal thing throughout nature. Everything lives and gets, or rather gets born and grows and lives and then dies and you get old. And everything knows that process because everything goes through it. So it's not a far stretch to imagine that a hyena knows exactly the difference between a human male, human female and a human child and the vulnerability of those. I've seen on hundreds of occasions our baboon have taken advantage of that very, very fact. And hyena, maybe not hundreds, but many occasions with hyena. Well, best place to be, I suppose. It's, it's only really on hot, very hot days like today. We are good half hour after sunset, the temperature's got to be still, I'd say maybe in the high 30s. Brian, what do you think? I mean, for Brian to be still in, <laughs> in short sleeves after sunset this time of year, I think, shows how hot yeah, it is. It's still cooking. It's still, there isn't a breath of wind, I think that's part of it. And, and it's humid. Uh, it's got to be a good 32, maybe even higher degrees Celsius at the moment. Where's that? Pushing on 90, maybe. I'm not bragging, and I'm not complaining. I mean, I love it. It's my world, but it means something. There are things. There's a, apart from the fact that there's this huge break of cloud that has appeared in the southeast that might prove to bring something overnight. So I want to leave this child sleeping, because... All we're really doing is just disturbing the poor thing. 